In this presentation, we're going to set up a payroll item related to a health savings account within QuickBooks. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. Here we are on the home page. We've got the open windows open. In order to open the open windows, you go to the view drop down and select the open windows list. We're going to add a payroll item by going to the lists drop down and going to the payroll item list. If you're working in the manual version, you're testing that out in the manual version. You may want to go to the free version employees and set up payroll, which will give you that interview process. We are in the paid version. We'll get a bit of an interview process here as we add the payroll item. We'll do so by going to the payroll item drop up down at the bottom and adding new. And we're going to say the easy setup is the one we want. We are once again going to go into the insurance benefits, health insurance, dental, and so on and so forth. And next. And we will then add, once the wizard shows up for us, the health savings account. So here it is. Here's our helping wizard. We want the health savings account. You can read up on it here. Obviously, you want to do some research in order to make sure that it's a, something that will be appropriate. We're going to test what it does after actually as we choose it within the quickbooks system but here you can see the little explanation set up a company contribution or employee deductions for contributions to a health savings account often saw as an hsa and hsa is a special kind of medi medical expense savings account created by the federal medical prescription drug improvement and modernization act of 2013 it allows an individual who is covered by a high deductible health insurance plan to put aside money for medical expenses more information about the hsas consult your tax advisor or benefit professional so you can do more research on that we're going to choose this item here and say next we have similar options here as we would with some of the health insurance options. Either the company pays, the employee pays, or both pay some portion of it. And the payment is either deductible after taxes or payment is deductible before taxes. And you can take a look at the code. Once again, get some help with this section 125. You can do some research on it. We're going to go ahead and keep it at the company pays for all of it. And payment is deducted after taxes rather than before taxes. We're going to say uh, next and run through the rest of it. We're going to say that this is going to be the HSA vendor. So that's just going to be a random vendor to set this up. That's who we would actually pay once we are going to actually pay the vendor for this. And next and finished. And we'll let it set this item up. Here's the new item on the item list. You can see it's going to be a company contribution. So it's lined up with the other company contributions. And we should see and expect similar characteristics as with the other company type contributions that we have including the matching 401k the group life insurance and the health insurance so let's go ahead and add this to our one employee so we're going to go up to the employee center up top employee center go to our one employee anthony and say hey we got another but another month another benefit and this is going to be the health savings account and anthony is of course uh, uh, willing to try that one out it's tried everything else out here so we're going to go ahead and add the health savings account so we'll say the drop down the hsa it's going to be way that you can't really see it but it's at the bottom it's the hsa company here that's going to be the item that we are adding and we're going to say that that one we're going to say is 150. so we'll give that at 150 and that's it okay so we've added that item now we're going to next time we're going to run the payroll see what happens with this new item in payroll compare and contrast it to the prior payroll where we didn't have the health savings account for more accounting information and accounting courses visit our website at accountinginstruction.info